Well, as we mentioned, there will be an FSU game at home this weekend, meaning a lot more people on our streets. And soon you will see more officers around high traffic areas in Tallahassee, like our college campuses, in an effort to keep down accidents involving people, cars and bicycles. Now this map we've put together shows you the locations of several crashes just in the last year alone involving those kinds of crashes. ABC 27 Chantel Navarro joins us live from Tallahassee tonight. Chantel, this high enforcement plan has been a few months in the making. That's right, Channing. Officer Boykin tells me that the police department has been wanting to tackle the high amount of crashes in areas like this one behind me by Tennessee Street. Now you'll see more officers in the area, but the idea is not to hand out more tickets. For the past couple semesters, it's actually been a problem on this entire road, not even just this light, but the next light down. Problems at crosswalks in Tallahassee. It's a really dangerous crossing and I actually have a lot of friends that have been terrified to cross a little bit further down. It's not just one or two, but 10 locations across town where you'll see more Tallahassee police officers patrolling as part of their new high visibility detail. That's 20 different officers driving around, reminding people to press the button, cross the road at the right time, and follow proper bicycle safety rules. The idea is to not give out tickets, but teach people the rules of the road. I hope the bicyclists and pedestrians realize, hey, maybe I shouldn't dart out in the street. If there's a crosswalk available, maybe I should use it. Uh, and if someone does, has a bicycle but doesn't have a light, by all means, contact me. I will get you a bicycle, a, a light to put on your bicycle. The new initiative comes the same week Florida State student Blake Bennett was hit and killed by a driver while on a scooter on West Pensacola Street. Bennett, one of two hit and runs this year and one of nearly 1,300 hit and runs in 2020. While some are skeptical if this plan will work, People love jaywalking, right? Like, it, it's like, uh, you see the red light, it's like, well, I don't see any cars coming. Pro I could probably make it across the street. Uh, I probably have time. As dangerous as it may be and illegal as it may be. Students like King say it's a step in the right direction. Something definitely needs to be done. Something needs to be monitored because obviously there's something abnormal going on on this road. Now you'll be able to find officers around this area patrolling until about 2 a.m. tonight and officers will continue their patrols through February 2021. You can find the full list of the areas and times on our website. That's WTXL.TV. For now, live in Tallahassee, Chantel Navarro, ABC 27.